I'm Madhul Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber Vinayak. Vinayak, thanks a lot for posting this question and I hope many of my viewers will benefit from solution of this particular problem. I'll also try to figure out the place where you might have gone wrong in your calculations. We need to evaluate integral of sine x minus a over sine x plus a d of x. We are going to use integration by parts in this particular case. So let us uh, first uh, replace x plus a with a parameter u. Let's say u equals to x plus a, x plus a. In that case, du will be equal to dx. And uh, we can rearrange this and find what x minus a is. So x is equal to u minus a x minus a will be u minus 2a, correct? Now, replacing these terms in the integral, we can write this as integral of sine of, instead of x minus a, I'm going to write u minus 2a, right? u minus 2a, a is a constant over sine u du du equals to dx. So that is what it is. Now we are going to solve it using integration by parts. So let us define our u and v. So, so I'm using the same terms u. I know it might create confusion, but we'll use this formula. Okay, u dv equals to integral of uv minus integral of v du. So we'll take uh, u as all this, which is sine u minus 2a since it is easy to differentiate it relatively right and uh, we'll take v dash as du so that is easy to integrate so what we get here is v is equals to u and uh, well let me write this that is more critical so u dash will be I'm just looking for more space here. Yeah, so let me write here. U dash will be equal to, we'll apply the quotient rule. So it is sine square u. And here we'll write sine u. I purposely written sine u in the beginning. That may cause an error. Uh, if you don't write, you may use sine a plus b or a minus b formula incorrectly. Derivative of sine u minus 2a will be cosine u minus 2a minus. Now, derivative of sine u is cos u times sine u minus 2a. So let me write here sine u minus 2a. Correct. Sorry for that inconvenience, but I hope you get the idea. Now, here you can apply the formula sine a minus b, right? So when you do a minus b is u for you so u and u cancel so you could write this as equal to let me let me write here you could write this okay it doesn't matter sine of 2a over sine square u you get an idea right so that is what we get as a derivative of this particular u dash now we are going to apply the the product, I mean integration by parts. So you could write this as uv, that is these two things, correct? So uv, that is that is what is my first part. So I could write this as uh, just u times v, which is sine u minus 2a over sine u times u correct so you get the first part here take away integral of the derivative so now we'll do this and this is it okay we can combine these two now so we get sine of 2a over sine square u times u du correct so that's what we get now, uh, 
we need to integrate this part so let me first rewrite this we get u times sine u minus 2a I'm just rewriting it over sine u and this function we could write this as integral of taking this in the numerator we get u sine 2a and cosecant square u du. Now we have to do integration by part of this particular function. So let's do that part now. So we'll do this part now. So we can write here as integral of u sine 2a cosecant square u du right so so in this particular thing we'll again select u and v and do the similar operation integration by parts once again correct so now let us take uh, let me change the ink now okay. so let us take uh, u now sine 2 is a constant so you know I could have taken it outside so let me do that first and then we will continue sine 2 is a constant it might create confusion so we'll write this as sine 2a integral of u cosecant square u du okay now we will substitute so we'll take uh, u as as u and that is easy to integrate so we'll take v dash as cosecant square u du correct now derivative of u is 1 so what we get here is uh, du is 1 and the integral for this that is v is equal to uh, minus cot u correct so that is the integral of this and now we can rewrite correct now we can rewrite our function so using this rule so we'll multiply these two so that we get our first term so we could replace this portion there right so integral of this will be replaced there so this is equal to let me write here only first and then we'll replace it correct so this integral can now be written as or should I replace it directly Uh, so minus so these two minus u cot u and then when you multiply these two you get integral of so that is this minus integral of uh, then you again get minus cot u right so you get minus cot u du correct and that could be written as minus u cot u this minus and minus becomes plus correct this minus and minus becomes plus so we get plus ln absolute value of sine u correct so that's what we get for this particular integral and now we can continue with our solution after doing the substitution here as our integral is equal to so we have u sine 2a uh, let me write this u dash u times sine 2a sine of u minus 2a over sine u minus all this what we got just now so let me put it in brackets So outside we have sine 2a and inside we get all that which is minus u cot u plus ln sine u. Correct. So this is how you can integrate it and now we can substitute back 
uh, what u is and u equals to x plus a right so we'll now substitute u equals to x plus a to get our answer correct so what we get here is x plus a times sine of so u minus 2a is x minus a you know that x minus a over this sign u u is x plus a let me push this page a bit okay so we get sine of x plus a and here we can open this bracket and then we get minus sine of 2a now within this bracket we have uh, uh, let me use square brackets okay so minus u that means minus of x plus a times cot u cot of x plus a uh, plus ln sine of x plus a right bracket close and then plus c correct so that is the result which we get after this derivation so i have a very limited space so i had to just move around but anyway you have to apply integration by part twice to get it and there is scope of you know getting your signs wrong so you know but take care i think uh, the steps are clear and i hope you understand how we could solve it correctly thanks a lot for watching and sending this video feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe my videos that'd be great thank you and all the best